Hi everyone. Um, we went walking today. Got out of the house. I had to go to a doctor appointment. See what's up with my back. It seems like I did something to a muscle. And it went. And the muscle where it's swollen has pinched my neck and my arm. But that's okay. I'm going to go see somebody about that. Alright. But let's just give you an update on that. The, uh, Clive and Bundy and them ask people to come there kind of peacefully. If you're in front of their property or the land they graze on, respect that. If you want to bring whatever you bring, do it, but keep it subtle. <clears throat> Native Americans, I'm just giving you, I'm not trying to divide anybody. Um, they've been in a lot of protest over the years. And what they do is not stick all their eggs in one basket. If you get... I know a lot of people need to show up, and we're going to try our damnedest. Now, I was going to say we could leave tomorrow, but I've got to go to another. i got to go to a neurologist and let them see what the hell's going on with my injury where I fell through that damn deck. But um, we could probably get out of here Friday or Saturday morning. We wouldn't be there till Sunday. And we, we live a few states away, and I would ask people in that local area to show up. Um, because it's going to be a burden on us to do it, but we'll do it if no other people will do it. Um, now I'm going to tell you from being around indigenous people and watching them train to protest the right way so that they back off the feds. And also, not many people are hurt. And there is a peaceful way to do it. It does require a lot of mass of people with cool heads, though. Um, if you noticed yesterday in the video, I saw the women stepping up. Let the women step up. Let them. And as soon as something happens, the men step in. And say with guns a-blazing. Let them be the aggressors and look bad at first. Then what happens after that, you know, whatever comes. Do I think this is a spark that's going to set off the world? No, but I will stand next to my brother. There are some people that don't give a shit about what's going on. Farmers do. Um, people say it's about Agenda 21. Well, it's about a land grab. That is a part of Agenda 21. They kind of phased Agenda 21 out, though. In 2011, we took our ground against Agenda 21 here where I live. I wouldn't be here if we didn't beat them. So now what they've done is separated the nations of, I think Russia's 2045, we're called America's 2050, and it, and it deals with the mega regions where uh, people would be located. And this is a location where you travel by rail, I think cars are prohibited. So it, it's just like what you think Agenda 21 is on steroids. Um, smart meters, all that's involved in that. Stay away from ICLEI, the Heritage Foundation. You guys know this, I'm not going to keep on. Uh, why say don't put your eggs all in one basket? Imagine if they could get everybody who is against what's happening there. And... and the reason, wounded knee in 75, 1975. This is what I'm saying. A lot of indigenous peoples went there. Now, um, they learned something from that. They learned that it was a great fight. And, um, I mean, still Leonard Piltier is in prison for a victimless crime. He didn't do, he didn't do anything. They framed him. Um, and that's what would happen to a lot of people if they weren't hurt. So the Indians from that took on a, um, I'll show you, American Indians took on a different stance. And First Nations also. And that is, if it happens in your area, you best get your ass there and show up. And they actually say within like a 500 mile radius, if there's a nation, get there and show up. And I'm trying to push the American Indians to show up. And some are reposting this um, in their own version, and they may show up. They are not afraid to block cars and trucks, even protect the man.
they do it differently though. Um, they're loud, they're vocal, they get tear gas and, and um, rubber bullets at them. And, and they keep going though. They don't call foul, they just continue being a warrior. And, and that frightens them more than anything, not the American Indians, but the government. When you take their bullshit and keep on going so it doesn't turn into an onslaught bloodshed. Because believe it or not, they will bring in tanks and the big artillery. And all those people who came from all of the state could be squashed like a bug. And then that would be the end of that. Now, there's a rancher in Michigan going through the same shit. Actually, there's ranchers all over the place. So we need to start looking within our local area. Um, Kenny and I have traveled to places to do this before. When the Agenda 21 hit our home, we were down there raising hell. We did not even know if anyone would show up, and they did. Mass amounts of people showed up at an auditorium, a little rinky-dink auditorium, and we ran the, the senator who's supposed to represent Washington State and her cohort completely out of there. They ran for their lives. Um, believe it or not, the police shook our hands. Um, I would just say don't, if you go there, and we're, I, I'm telling you, if nobody shows up, we'll probably try to go there. I mean, like I said, tomorrow I've got something to do, and we'd have to leave Saturday and not get there till Sunday, and I'd have to take medication. That would suck. But I would do this. I, why can't the states bordering this do this? I mean, we're trying to find a place to live. I'm, I'm just bitching and ranting. Let me rant for a minute. Um, this has nothing to do with you guys. I, I'm thinking, gosh, this is going to put us back like three or four months if we go there. But we would. We would do this. Um, I'm wondering why the people... I mean, we've cleaned out the fucking car and stuff, and we're trying to get somebody to watch the farm. I mean, we have animals that have to be fed every day. Chickens put up, blah, blah, blah. We'll have to pay someone to take care of them. So, I mean, it's going to be a hell of a lot for us to travel from the Pacific Coast there, but we'll do it. I'm just saying that I'm going to see if the local natives will step up. Um, and if they do, let them do their thing because they're not going to provoke it in the way that I see a lot of people wanting to against the Bundy's request. Now, if you go on down the road and want to do this, don't do it around the Bundy's house. Um, disassociate yourself with them. Because this is them asking. They ask for people to come, but they also ask, let it start out peaceful. And, I mean, you can read between the lines, but don't you fucking brag about what you're going to do or what you're carrying. That's the most insane, stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. You're just putting a big, big red target on your back. Go in there in solidarity for your brothers and sisters there. But whatever you have packing, that keep that between yourself because there's going to be agent provocateurs there. I guarantee you any big event has them. And if they find or hear somebody talking about, hey, I got this in my car and you don't know them and they buddy up to you, shit. Come on, guys. We've seen this shit happen before. Use your noodle there. Um, start thinking. Just telling you. So, um, can you know, and I'll try. It may be Saturday before we can get the hell out of here and we wouldn't be there till Sunday. I mean, we were, we knew I had a doctor's appointment today. We didn't know that my fucking muscles were fucked up this bad. I'm pretty good with pain, I guess. Um, well, not really. I bitched a lot. Poor Kenny had to listen to me bitch. Um, but anyway, we did go for a good walk today afterwards and uh, by the river and stuff. I'm just saying, don't jeopardize this guy's family and his children and his grandchildren. I mean, this isn't the line drawn in the sand when you see what's happening to the, the farmers in Michigan. And actually the farmers here have went through this. I know a organic dairy is closing down here. He's not putting up much of a fight. He's just fucking done. Um, it's happening to everybody everywhere. And until we can all stand up across all states and back them down. Because see, I don't know why nobody's been blocking these roads. I don't understand it not letting the, the uh, Department of Interior's vehicles in or out. That's what the Native Americans would done. I mean, they go as far as to push shit over the roads where nobody can get in and out. You just have to park your car and walk. I mean, like farm, old farm equipment and shit. 
they do that almost at every protest. They've turned around fracking equipment, that big old shit that they don't want to put on the highway. They track it through the Indian res so nobody has to see what they're digging the earth with. Now they're turning them around and it's awesome. But there's ways going about it. And, and I believe people, there are training groups that tell you how to go do this, even if it goes violent, what to do. But if you go out there and tell everyone what your intentions are, you just put an X on everyone's back. And shame on you. At this point, I'm saying whatever you're carrying or doing or bringing, leave that to yourself or your friends who we know when you get there. Don't bring it out and and if you do want to go out there and carry your weapon do it nicely and don't act ignorant because you could get a lot of people hurt. That happened on the Mi'kmaq Nation when somebody threw something. This was an agent provocateur threw something and the uh, snipers started firing. Luckily no one got killed. So you think about it, someone threw something explosive who wasn't even a part of the crowd. And the, and the American Indians and the First Nations allow people to protest with them now. They, they were wary for a while because there was so many agent provocateurs. But if one of those things happened, I mean, it could get other people killed. That's all I'm saying. You have to, people need to learn how to train for this or go to a few of them and go peaceful. This isn't the only one. This is not the line drawn in the sand. If anything else, if he loses everything, he's been knowing this was coming. And, and yes, I feel sorry for him because um, we were farmers once that could sell stuff. Um, and we can't no more. We can't abide by the rules and they just come in and nobody would stand up for us. So we just don't do it anymore. But this is all I'm saying. Get us, you know, pitch in get his cows back what are salvageable I heard they're burning them if they are then at that point people need to go find the remains and go after the BLM wherever they're at in every single state every single state actually you should protest it every every park any place on the BLM with signs let them know have a bunch of people go nationwide saying get the fuck off our land and then go deep in that land because you're going to find mines and stuff. Not one mine that has been left has ever been cleaned up in the United States of America or Canada or Mexico. So if you see a mine, um, you know there's arsenic, lead, if it's uranium, uranium tailings. Nobody has ever took the time to clean up a mine. So, and there are a lot of mines there and there are a lot of people putting in bids for mines at this place. I heard also windmills. <laughs> That's really going to go over good with the wildlife. Um, I, they're loud and they also kill a lot of the flying birds, the eagles, so forth. The turtle's just fine. Um, I'm just saying learn how to fight back because there are ways to push them back efficiently and scare the hell out of them without threatening them with weapons. If you threaten them with force, they'll bring in the tanks and then you're fucked. They'll actually surround you with a, um, razor wire in some cases. That happens on the nations all the time. And it's, it's like being put into a FEMA camp and you're just stuck. There's no bathroom or anything. People talk about going to FEMA camps. They just make the FEMA camps around you. Um, and they've done that in Oka. And that would be in Canada. I'll leave a clip to that. There's a documentary on that. Although that's the Oka just didn't mind because that was the land they were trying to keep. I'm just telling you, these are the tactics of the government. You have to learn how they work. And you learn how you need to learn the best way to go after them. That's why I called upon my Native American brothers and sisters who have been doing this even before I was born. And I'm somewhere in my 50s. You know, you, when you get my age, you forget. And I've done this for a lot of years, so just remember, be careful, be safe, live free, but don't go instigate shit, especially when a family, if that's who you're in support of, has asked you not to do that yet. They have grandchildren. There are very good ways, though, to handle them and make them look like the idiots without anyone getting hurt. 
I assure you of that. Um, I know a lot of people will disagree with this, and that's okay, but I would suggest anyone who does disagree with this, um, go to a camp. There's a lot of camps on how to do this, especially among the nations. I know there's going to be one, I think, in the Four Corners area. Um, I don't know if it's the Shoshones or who's doing this. Go learn how to protest and take action against the federal government. Just look. Ask a na native nation near you how to do this. They're fucking experts, I guarantee you. Um, and that's all I'd like to say. Don't go arms ablazing because you'd probably get a lot of people killed and you'd probably survive. And also don't talk to somebody you don't know that wants to know about what you did bring. And watch how they act in the crowd. If they're the loudest in the crowd or seem to be sneaking stuff around, point them out and get them the fuck out of there. Because I imagine that the government, if there's a big crowd, is brought in. They're little experts in this, how to hoop the masses up and get them on a violent stream. And those are agent provocateurs, and that's exactly what they do. And if you're really into weapons and stuff, and you're excitable about it, and you're ready for it, they'll get you excited and you'll get a lot of people hurt. I just wanted to put this out there. Um, I'm going to leave the links to um, America 2050. It is akin to Agenda 21, but it does sh show you the... Um, the mega regions where they want to put everybody so yeah this would be part of the land grab plus they want the minerals and probably want to try to do some green energy because you know we got to do green stuff the green stuff is working in some places but it, you know the windmills but it's not been that efficient there's other things we could be doing we know the scientists have got this free energy out there free energy not corporation owned energy out there and I've probably rambled long enough um, I'm standing with that family. We're going to try to make it out there. Um, <clears throat> hope everybody's doing great. I haven't even watched videos today because I just got home. I just had thought people are going to start getting violent there and going half-cocked. And, and that's frightening in a way. I mean, go there. If you want to carry your weapon around, go there. But act normal. Don't act all gun ho like, you know, bring it on. Because that's... It's not how you start it. I mean, people often say the Boston Tea Party. Look what the Boston Tea Party. And the only reason I'm saying this is because <laughs> a friend of mine <laughs> posted on a site. Yeah, look at the Boston Tea Party. <laughs> Those good patriots had to dress up as uh, Mohawk Indians in case um, shit went down. They'd blame the Indians. That's pretty fucked up, don't you think? So you have to go about it the right way, and I'm telling you, there are agent provocateurs at every big thing, and they, they'll prey on the weakest, loudest person. Um, so beware, be careful, and I hope to see you there. If we can get our stuff together, we will be there, and I love you.